All right. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to today's webinar. This is your host, Tim Mai. I am excited to uh, be on the line with you today. Um, I have my good friend, Sherry Watson, on the line with us as well. And just a quick disclaimer, we, you know, um, we were supposed to do this webinar live, and uh, Sherry had a, uh, a um, family emergency. So we're actually uh, pre-recording this video, so when you're watching this, you know, we're, we're not actually on here live, but you, you are going to get all the information that you need to know about you know, your child grant money, the, about you know, how to get grants uh, for your real estate business, for your nonprofit organizations. And so I am really excited. You know, Sherry is definitely the foremost uh, expert, the foremost authority when it comes to grant money. And I've known Sherry now, I don't know, it's probably six years. <laughs> so, you know, wow. So, yeah, it's been it's been a while, and you know, it's, I mean, uh, it's, you know, watching, you know, watching uh, Sherry does her magic around, um, you know, around grant money and 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 around nonprofit is just absolutely amazing and inspiring. Uh, you know, it's so much so that uh, it inspired me to start my own nonprofit. So we're going to talk a little bit about that later on, uh, and you know, and, and you know, and I'm hiring Sherry's company to help me with that, and so, you know. I recently attended Sherry's um, uh, seminar in Orlando a few months ago, and I, I mean, I was just so you know, excited about the information that she's teaching and the power of what she's teaching. I literally begged her to uh, to you know, do a, do an upcoming seminar in Houston, uh, my you know my uh, my where my home is, and and so that way I can invite all of my friends and 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 you know and associates and business and. You know, other investors here in you know here in my town to uh, to learn about what Sherry does, and so I'm really excited to do this webinar to bring you know to bring Sherry to you live on this I mean to you on this webinar so that way it doesn't matter where you are in the country you'll be able to uh, learn about um, you know the use of grant money and the power behind that for your you know for your business. Um, and um, yeah, and so uh, with that, let's give Sherry a big uh, warm welcome. Yay! <laughs> wow, great, Tim. It's so awesome to be here today, Tim, and for you to do the recording for me uh, today, you guys. Thank you so much for for just surrounding me with support. And um, for those of you that don't know me, my name's Sherry Watson, and I'm here at the hospital in Phoenix with my dad. I just moved into ICU. And so Tim and I talked this morning, and Tim said, are you sure you want to do it? I said, Tim, I'm going to talk to my dad about your nonprofit, first of all. So you guys, I'm going to share more about where Tim's going and what we have envisioned and, and the beauty of what he's doing and the financial rewards. You guys, Tim and I just talked a while ago about it's not just about a little charity nonprofit. We're talking about a very profitable nonprofit corporation that allows you to be financially free to go do the things to change this country and this world. So to start with Tim, I want to tell him, get that big cell trade out of your mind. And we're going to go through a whole next hour or so on giving you the tools, giving you 30 years plus experience, me and my team, of really how to take your passion and get the funding you need for it so that you can live your passion every day and get paid very well. So Tim, with my dad and I see you, and with us talking this morning, and my dad saying, no, you go tell people. I've spent 30 years living my purpose with my dad beside me every step of the way. My dad mm -hmm. is going through some very trying times right now. But again, through that, we found purpose. You know, we're setting up a nonprofit in New Mexico, some beautiful, beautiful clients that we had total success that came in, and they're in the really healing world. And a healing in a different way from just the medical model. It's a combination. What great timing. There is no coincidence. 
that that's happening at the same time I'm going through this medical journey with my dad. So you guys, I want all of you, we're all going through journeys, we're all facing times right now, to really listen tonight, really listen to this, how you can take your journey, your story, what you're going through, and turn it into purpose that helps you help others, which helps give the healing to you. So Tim, I want to thank you. Tim is really wrong. He said he came to our event in Orlando, and he just like was like, you got to come to Houston. You've got to come. I'm going to get my friends there. So you guys, this is our first time to come to Houston. So it's an honor to get a come because of Tim. Tim, I'm telling you, Tim is one of my one of my most greatest friends I've ever had. Well, you think about Tim. You guys know what I'm talking about. You think about Tim and you start smiling. You don't even have to say anything. You just think about him. And Tim, I just, oh, it's going to be so much fun. We, we've got to go to Rica together. We've been masterminds together. Our families, I've met, met his wife and son. You guys get really connected again on a personal level. And that's why it's such an honor that Tim invited us to in to talk to you guys and to be a part of his community in Houston. So I look forward to meeting us, you guys. I can't wait, Tim. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start in on you guys get your pen and pencils out and um, let's take them down the road. Yeah, and, and, and share this before you get started, actually, I just want to, like, real quick just thank you so much, you know, for your heart, your generosity. I know you're, you know, dealing with what's going on with your dad, and, and you took the time to, to be here with us. And, like, really, like, moving forward and, you know, and, and, and you know, living out and living your purpose and to make a difference out there for, for all of us. Um, so I just want to... Yeah, thank you so much for, for doing that, for being who you are. You're, you're just an amazing, amazing, you know, person and soul and being. And so I, I, I love you. Oh, Tim, I love you too. And you guys, as Tim and I talked today this morning about, you know, I'm probably not going to go through a lot of my PowerPoint. There will be some talking along the way and, and sharing and being able to, to you really share what's happening right now is a testimony, again, to being able to impact people in a very positive way. And that's what this is about, you guys. Our country is hurting, and our country is broken, whether it's housing or veterans or seniors or healthcare youth. And it's going to be people like you, people like Tim, because I was holding Tim accountable this morning, so help me on it. Um, mm -hmm. leading the way to bring solutions. And, it, it, Tim, it's so healing for you, so thank you so much for saying that. But really, it has been very healing for me throughout my journey to make a difference. And I tell you, the people that are coming to us, right now we're working with a colonel that stepped forward because his heart's with veterans. He sees what's going on, and he wants to be a part of leading that change. And so people are coming to us that have gone through things like Tim. You know, Tim knew, we knew years ago when we met, that he was destined to lead a movement. And you guys, what we're talking about is a nonprofit. You can get money for especially doing real estate. Right now, nonprofit is almost necessary. Um, and so how it's so cool that you guys are being taught by Tim the real estate piece, and then we can teach you the nonprofit piece that allows you to even leverage that more. And so with that, Tim, I just want to say that there's not a better person I could be doing this with. And the, and, and the, the nonprofits will help you guys start, and you're going to love the model. And we have a really great system, a great team that will take you step by step. It's a very successful, easy model. But also there's people like him, and you might be one of them, that it's 
bigger, that's leading the movement. And that's one thing we see with him. Always from the day we met, the way he attracts people. You guys know what I mean. The way he makes us feel so loved and the way he shares that love. And so Tim and I tell a story, Tim. Um, it was about six months ago, and I hadn't um, heard from Tim. I haven't been real connected like I was before with masterminds and stuff because we have so many incredible projects going on around the world now. We're in Guatemala building bottle schools. We're in Texas with the Veterans Center. We're doing a senior center in California. Amazing projects. I haven't been out there. And about six months ago, I thought, you know, I'm feeling glad that we need to get this word out again to people like you on this call to say, look, here's the greatest opportunity in America. Come and join us. And I thought, who do I want to talk to? And the first person I wrote down, my, my sons were there, I wrote down Tim Mai. I wanted to connect with Tim again. We had connected for, gosh, months or years. And I, about an hour later, I'm sitting with my mom and dad, because we've been going through this little medical journey, and my phone rings, and I look on the screen, and it says Tim Mai. I'm not kidding. That's how it works. And Tim said, I'm ready. Tim said, I know. I'm very clear. I'm ready. And so Tim and I this morning talked about, you know, he's going to be setting up the centers throughout the country. Uh, we call them the, the home of love, the house of love. And then we, today, so you guys help us vote on this, give us your feedback. We decided they should be called love shacks. Wouldn't that be cool? I mean, I'd love to go to a love shack. <laughs> so I just had to share that about you, Tim, that, you know, with with your charisma leading the movement, and that's what I was able to do. But again, it was because I found purpose and I had passion. And that's what I want to lead you guys through. And if your passion and purpose is real estate, we have students that come in and say their, their passion is to make money. Great, you're in the right place. There's more money available right now in the nonprofits than any other um, business entity you can do. And you'll love this. No credit tax, no banks, no. Is that pretty cool? So let's get yeah. started, Tim, and um, let's take them through kind of what we went through with you in Orlando, what you've known for a long time, and um, okay. get get them to our training in, in Houston, and then we'll all have a good time together. Yep. Okay. So if you had a choice, you guys, think about this. How would you like to live your passion every day, get paid very well to do it, and help people along the way? Right now, the greatest business opportunity in our climate is a nonprofit business model. Now, remember, you guys, Get those myths out of your mind. When you think of a fake self charity, that's not what we're teaching. It's a nonprofit business model. Now, when you go through that, think about, well, you know, what if I told you that there's over $700 billion available to make this happen? That's wow. Billion. Guys, Tim, Think of what all the housing and the cool things we could do for single moms and veterans and people who have never owned a home before, people that have been foreclosed on and give them a second chance. That's what this is about. And the, and the money never has to be paid back, okay? You guys, now more than ever, achievers from around the country are coming together to learn the strategies for getting the competitive edge with the power of grant money. We have corporations now setting up foundations. We have business leaders coming to us, the, the hedge funds, REIT, um, uh, funds, banks, that are now coming to us because they see the trend. They know a nonprofit is where they have to go. We have a nonprofit assisted living facility. 
So whatever you're into right now, especially in real estate, you need a nonprofit corporation. And why take action now? Because business as usual is dead. You guys know in real estate, it changes monthly. You have such a good mentor with Tim. There's nobody better in the country that can teach you and keep you on the cutting edge. So you guys are going to flourish with me and Tim. Be bold enough to step forward and do something new. We're going to give you the tools and the resources. Right, Tim? Mm -hmm. and, and, the, and Tim, the nonprofit business, it's a whole new entrepreneurial movement. It was in um, the Inc. magazine, the cover. The whole uh, magazine was centered on um, start a company, change the world, setting up a nonprofit. Everywhere you look, you're seeing nonprofits. When you watch TV, look at the commercial, like for checking, changing your credit, and it's creditcreation.org. Those are nonprofits. So it used to be if you wanted to make a difference in your community, you know, you volunteered for nonprofit. If you wanted to make money, mm -hmm. you just launch a business, right? Well, things mm -hmm. have changed. Things have changed for the better. More nonprofit corporations are being run like fast growth startups. And more traditional companies are now being built around social missions. Big difference. This program, you guys, is like nothing you've ever seen. If you're a generous person, and I know you are on this call, if you're aligned with Tim, I know where you come from. Tim brings in the best people. In our Orlando training, some of Tim's group came. Amazing people, amazing entrepreneurs, leaders that we're now moving forward with. So if you were raised with the beliefs about giving back and make this world a better place, I'm going to show you how to monetize that starting right now. Okay? So let's get ready. Get your pens. We're going to do well by doing good. Awesome. And the best part is you can do it using free money. There hey. you go, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I love that. I knew you would, Tim. I know it. You guys, look what you can use free money for, Tim. This is everything you're teaching. Buying single-family homes. Buying commercial real estate. Making millions of dollars on profits. Paying yourself a salary plus expenses. And most people get it backwards. They don't get paid until after they buy a property. Well, I'm going to show you how to get paid before. So do you mm. see what, with what Tim and I are teaching? Tim's teaching you the, the top of the country, teaching you how to go out and do real estate. I will teach you how to set up to sell profit and how to be getting money in while you're doing that. What a beautiful combination. You can also get free money to pay your rent, make your car payment, hire a full-time assistant, live your dream every day, help others while you change the world. Mm. And Jim, I've got to tell you, with your two boys, and I now have, I don't even know if you do this, Jim, I have three grandbabies. Yeah, wow. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. So, Tim, when, when you look at your boys and you guys on the phone, when you look at your kids, your grandkids, not only is my dad right now going through this journey, but looking at my grandkids thinking, we, me, Tim, you guys on the call, we better step up and make sure that our kids and grandkids have the same opportunity that we've had. So that's what I mean about changing the world. And all this is done through the government's best kept secret, which is known as the 501c3 corporation. A lot of you know it as a nonprofit or not-for-profit or NPO. You guys, the nonprofit business is a 1.4 trillion, listen to that, 
trillion oh. dollar industry. You guys, just last year, they did the charitable center, the center on charitable statistics. They do a lot of our research. They did a study on earned income through a nonprofit. So whatever you are doing, your business, you have a for profit. Think about what we could do by leveraging that in your nonprofit. They estimate that seventy percent of the one point four trillion dollars that is generated, that's per year. Came from the sale of wow. services and goods. Isn't that amazing to think what you guys could do with housing counseling? Yeah. You know, you're out there finding the real estate. You're looking at property that's been foreclosed on. You're meeting people that are, that need that handout, not a not a handout. Think of what you could do in your nonprofit. You could provide credit support. You could provide housing counseling. And, and then you can charge for services. It's an amazing, amazing thing. And your nonprofit, listen to this, you have freedom from federal, state, and local taxes. Because if you think about it, grant money comes from your tax dollars. So why not take that money and do something great with it that you're doing now? So. Nonprofits are exploding as far as their viability and the demand for them. The Inc. Magazine issue in May was a practical guide to social entrepreneurship, start a company, change the world. Look at some of the media team that's out there right now, just to show you where this is. Berkshire Hathaway talked about $12 billion in grants for small businesses. Wow. The business world has changed forever. Look at this. Nonprofits getting first shot at bank foreclosures. CNBC, Fox News, Money News, San Francisco Gate, Huffington Post. Nonprofits get first jump on foreclosure sales. Investor Business Daily. Nonprofit mm. solution to housing foreclosures. Wall Street Journal. Nonprofits getting first shot at bank foreclosures helping home buyers and neighborhoods. CBS News. Nonprofits turn foreclosures into first homes. MSNBC. Nonprofits get first dibs on foreclosures. Main Street Banking My Way. Nonprofits can help solve the foreclosure crisis. So it's, it was what I was talking to this morning and how so many investors are now coming to us that have been working with Freddie and Fanny and Brian Boncarios and doing great things, but are now told that they have to work through a nonprofit. So they're calling mm -hmm. us saying, do you have nonprofits led by investors? Led by you guys, Tim, your group, knowing what you've taught them, knowing who you are and what you teach, love to be able to have them have a nonprofit also so that we could start taking them into all these investors that are calling us. So we call the 50123 the most profitable entity of all. And we call it, if you can't remember the numbers and what the order, Call it the 501 See Me Make Money Corporation. Okay? <laughs> so, Cam, we're going to get that one going. So, when they're all in Houston with us, we're going to remind them. So, you guys take notes because when we're in Houston together, I'm going to bring up some of these things and see what good students you are. So, the 501 See Me Make Money Corporation. Well, why? Well, Cam, especially now what I'm going through with my dad. I think it's really important to share with everyone how I got started and why I've been doing this for 30 years. And I got started the hard way. I was on an ATV three-wheeler living life, the all-American dream, I had two baby boys and car payment and house payment. We were in debt, right? And on a Saturday afternoon, my husband, Tracy, stayed home with the kids. 
and they'd shake and yaps, and I took my three-wheeler and was out riding down by the river where I always ride. And with an instant, I lost control of my life and destiny. I went over a jump, and the last thing I remember is it being dark and thinking, why'd you let go? And I had a horrible accident. My husband got a knock on the door and said, Sherry's been her call an ambulance. That's always where I always go, just like you guys. I mean, you never know what life's going to bring us, where I always ride, what I've always done. And now I'm laying there. My husband gets a knock, he calls the ambulance, runs down to the scene of the accident. He said the last 20 feet were on his hands and knees. But they saw me laying in a pool of blood and kind of a gray color. He saw, crawled over to me, found me bleeding from my nose and my mouth and my ears and unconscious. I can't imagine, Tim, what that was like for him. And so many of you have gone through journeys that are emotional like that. The ambulance came and the paramedics and they called me DOA, dead on arrival. They couldn't get a pulse. They couldn't. My anything going, and Tracy run the ambulance with me, went to the emergency room, and they called the chaplain in, and they told my family I probably wouldn't make it. And then hours and hours later, the neurosurgeon came in and said, well, if she's a fighter, she has a 50-50 chance. And Tracy said, well, then you better get a room ready. Mm -hmm. I went through the journey a brain injury and a coma. And it's not like TV where you, they wake up and start talking. I had to relearn everything, how to swallow, how to talk, how to walk. The things we take for granted at such an early age, Tim, I was given a gift. I was having to relearn how to swallow was the hardest thing I had to learn because we don't learn that it, we're born with it. So I learned at a very early age how precious life is and what we take for granted. And when I learned to walk, it wasn't like just started walking. They laid me on a mat for weeks and taught me how to roll. And then months taught me how to crawl. I tell you what, that takes you back to their humbleness, to their humility. I'm really, what a gift life is. And what do we need to be doing with our lives? It's more than just working and making money and paying bills. Guys, I'm giving you the tools to give you a life where you can make a difference and get paid and make money. So as I went through that journey and went through coma, and learned how to tap deep into my mind. You guys, the power of our mind, you're sitting there right now and life is consuming and it's hard right now. Your mind is so powerful. As I laid in a coma and could hear everything around me, but was trapped inside a body, couldn't respond, I was determined to let my loved ones know I was in there fighting. As I would see them, sitting around so grief struck and I was reaching deep that inner strength and that mind, the power. I learned that being challenged in life is inevitable. Being defeated is optional. And that's where we are in this country, you guys. Step up with this. Take action. Because so, for so long I laid there and said, why did this happen to me? Why me? And I even have done that with Dad. You know, being called back over this morning, saying why. But then I'm reminded that that why didn't change anything. It was when my mentor sat beside me every day and finally said, girl, I know you're angry. And he said, you know, you divide the law of gravity. And he said, 
my God picked you up and healed you, brought you back medically, they can't explain why you're here. So instead of laying there and ask why, it's time to ask what. What's my purpose? And so many of us, today I was reminded of that with my dad. What? What's the purpose? What can we do to take this and make a difference and take care of ourselves? When I change my why into what, oh my gosh, be careful, you guys. When I said, okay, what's my purpose? The next thing I knew, I was leading a support group. I was starting a state head injury foundation. I was setting up a national organization, and I was calling Tracy after a three-day operation empowerment. And Gal was in, and I said, "We're moving to Washington D.C. I've been elected president of our national organization." Because I could barely walk or talk, but I knew I had purpose. So let go of the fear right now. Let go of the overwhelmness right now. This is about doing what you were destined to do in life. I didn't know anything about Congress or funding or the things I'm going to teach you and the tools give you. I knew I had a purpose. When you're out there, like when Tim's going to be out there building this movement, bringing love to people, showing people that they're loved and valued, bringing that back to the basics, Great people come into your life. I met Tim Brady. You know, when I was in, sitting in my office in Washington, D.C. and didn't know anything about anything, couldn't even barely say words, but I knew I was there for a reason. People kept saying, you need to call Tim Brady. So I finally called Tim. He shows up in my office in his wheelchair, and I started going on about not knowing anything about anything and Congress funding and finally took a breath and said, do you think you can help? And Jim leaned back in his wheelchair and I'll never forget you guys, this is the kind of support you get. And the humor, oh my gosh, I'm using so much humor with my dad right now. The humor, when Jim leaned back and said, honey, if I could sell President Reagan to the American public for eight years, I think I can help you. Guys, it was, oh my gosh, Tim, it was so much fun. It was amazing to be mentored by someone like Jim that taught me how to work behind the scenes and how to work with committees. Guys, that's where our money is. Your money, my money, Tim's money, our tax dollars. We need to be part of where that money's going. And then we need to go one step further and have the corporation that that money goes to. The majority of grant money goes to nonprofits. That's why I focus on nonprofits. Just like Tim. Jay, you there? The line got cut off. Hi, everybody. Hold on here. Um, Sherry got disconnected, so hold on. Hello? Okay, yes, you're back on. <laughs> oh, gosh, I have no idea what happened, but here I am. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, <clears throat> I'm back, you guys. So, you know, w working with Jim Brady and you guys, G Gary Busey and 
people that come want to surround you, the celebrities, you know, giving them what fits their passion. And my first bill in Congress, 25 years ago, when I could barely walk or past you guys, so I'm going to hold you accountable too. There's no excuse for you guys. I got $20 million in free money uh -huh. to spend for regional brain injury centers. Can't think of how many love shacks we could set up for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really, you thought so? Just think what you could do. Right now, there's tons of real estate money, Kim. There's in Houston. There's it's called NSP. You guys write that down. Neighborhood Stabilization Program. That's money to do real estate. It's to buy foreclosures, to rehab foreclosures, and to get them moving again. And that money is available to nonprofits, and it was four hundred billion dollar impact. Four hundred billion. So I just want you to see, even in real estate, the kind of money. And then look at this screen. If you can't, if you aren't watching, I'll say this is my pride and joy. There's a big poster picture um, at Paris and Ford. We got to be involved and help with the movie regarding Henry. So wow. as you're speaking this, oh Tim, I can just see amazing things with you as you as you're sharing as you're really empowering people through love and making them feel like they're contributing folks again, then the, the, the people that come along, then the movie that comes along to really heighten that issue. So I just got, you know, going with Congress and got that figured out, and then Jim's like, okay, now we got to get Hollywood involved. we got to get them to share our story. So you guys, I have a great big poster in my office from Harrison Ford. It says, to Sherry, thanks for all you've done, Harrison Ford. How cool would that be, you guys? All of you have your poster of your favorite. Who's your favorite actor, Tim? Um, well, I mean, yeah, Harrison Ford is definitely one of them. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, Brad Pitt, uh, he's an awesome, another great one. Um, yeah, which, yeah. Awesome. Okay, okay, you guys heard that. So we're going to get a poster for Tim next, and then you guys can share yours with us. That's how it happens. So I turned tragedy into triumph. Now I saw residual effects, um, some paralysis and stuff. But wow, the amazing thing we did, you guys, a handful of people that came together and said, we don't need to live in nursing homes. We don't need to live in institutions. We want to be part of the American dream. We just need society to be equal. We need barriers taken down. Uh, so you guys, together, we started with one nonprofit. And we now have over 800 nonprofits throughout the country. Talk about a movement. We created the Americans with Disabilities Act because we were a group with no political power, no money, a lot of us no voice, and look what we did. So think what you can do in revolutionizing real estate, housing in Houston, bringing families home again, giving them a stable environment. My life is better than ever. And yours will be too. You have a great life now. Just think how much this will just give to it. So not to brag, to show you that I really do have lived this life and walk the walk every day of my life still. I've made $130 million and counting. I've had several nonprofits along the way that have done amazing things, everything from being our own bank, how would you guys like to have your own bank? Amazing. You let people come in and apply the credit. There's no factor. You're basing it on character game like the old days. That's the kind of things I want to teach you. I've served on the board for 15 other nonprofits. I've advised 700 nonprofits. The bottom line of showing you that as I will show you how to access all the free money you'll ever need. 
Remember what I talked about this a minute ago, what is grant money? It comes from your tax dollars. So it's your money. Again, that humor, just gently recycled by the government, right? Mm -hmm. So you guys, make out a paper and pen tonight. I know you're listening. I really want you to do this exercise. But so what I'm going through with my dad right now is so important. What is your passion? Write it down. Right now, write it down. Put it on a piece of paper right beside your computer. What's your passion? You know, people used to come to us and talk about wanting to travel, wanting a big house, wanting more stuff. But what's happened in this country has brought us to our knees and brought us back to what's important. Right. People talk about rebuilding devastated areas, Tim, and eco-friendly, taking care of our children, feeding the hungry, finding cures for breast cancer, autism. We have some amazing nonprofits led by parents and people with autism, equestrian centers. Working with veterans, kids with disabilities, helping our seniors, our veterans. So look at what you just wrote down. What is your passion? Keep that by you. Put that on your bathroom mirror. Put that on your car steering wheel. Keep it in front of you so that you, when you come to the training, we're going we're gonna to hit it running. And I'm going to have all of you share your passion. So whatever your passion was, the power of grant money can help you get it. So there's no wrong answers, whether it's some people are into animals and pets. And some people have started a nonprofit for uh, animals that have been left behind due to foreclosure can. People would go into houses and find dogs and cats, and, and so we found a solution for that. So whatever your passion is, remember this before you come to the training. The power of grant money can help me get this. So when we talk about empowering your passion or project, here are some of the ones we're doing. Seniors, affordable housing, veterans, youth, health care. House and counseling, think about now bringing your project alive. Now you've got your passion. Start thinking about it. Now let's talk about bringing it alive. You guys, the number one insider secret, it's all about connecting. It's, all, it's not that big fat book. It's not Googling grants and finding 8 billion resources and getting overwhelmed. It's about connecting. We've done work in Houston. You have amazing leaders, great people to go meet with and tell them what you've learned from Tim. You know, the incredible skills you have now and how can we help? How can we help the city of Houston? How can we help our neighborhood? And that's where the funding starts coming in. You know, getting your nonprofit funded by corporations, Home Depot, Fortune 500 companies, many of them now have foundations. You guys doing real estate and with Tim's guidance and leadership, you should be connected with a nonprofit that I'm going to help you with, and we're going to go to Home Depot. Home Depot is aligning the local stores and Houston has a lot going on with Home Depot. I'll talk more about that at our training. But um, they've got, they align with nonprofit corporations, and every week they donate all kinds of things, leftover inventory, inventory that they've had to restock because new stuff came in. It's amazing, Tim. We're getting so many of our projects that just Home Depot and the Lowe's, Lowe's has been doing amazing things with our group that's doing the Veterans Project. 
Lowe's came in and donated the um, greenhouse. Um, they started a business raising herbs for restaurants. They, I want you to just let your mind think big. You know, all these kinds of projects are just going in here and there so that you can just think about how the creative ideas. And you know, the evolving of social consciousness has taken individuals and the corporate world by storm. And savvy entrepreneurs, Kim, they're changing their business models to accommodate the influx of goodwill. So we're doing a lot of cause marketing involved with the forum and the Fortune 100 and 500 companies come. There's so much research within that group that if they're aligned with the cause, they have greater customer loyalty. People aren't just shopping for the lowest dollar. Well, now you have the nonprofit that can take all of this and align with them. There's a lot going on on that right now. So, Tim, I know what your group really can talk to them about is how they can use grant money for real estate. So let's talk about residential, vacant, commercial, brand new development. And the greatest opportunity, Tim, is free real estate. <laughs> we like that one. Now, you guys, here's a case study. I'll just run through this fast. I kind of want you to see how you can work your for-profit and non-profit. That's one of our niches. So if you're there saying, well, I've already got my LFP and doing the great things Tim's taught me, fantastic. We're going to teach you how to um, financially incentivize for-profit through your non-profit while doing great things. And that's what we did with this Ocean Vista Ranch. She was a great, great lady, just like you guys were on the phone. She was on the call, sitting there. And she has a 77-acre ranch in danger of being lost because her life, she'd gone through some the hills and valleys and ups and downs. And she took action. She came to our training. She learned our step-by-step -step system. She followed our step-by-step -step system. She created a 501 See Me Make Money Corporation. <laughs> she started connecting with that. She connected. She met with local legislators. She talked about, I have this great ranch. How could I help the community? She connected. Well, we found out there was tobacco money, and, and Margaret's mm -hmm. kind of looking at me like, well, well, what's that about? And I said, just listen. You know, kick her under the table, okay. Well, and I said, um, what did you get that bill for? He passed the bill, this legislator got the money through. And it's because he lost his grandpa and dad to cancer. And they were smoked recreationally, not just ceremonial. He was Native American. So again, when you're creative, you guys think it outside the box. And I said, well, what about if we did a program for youth on the ranch and taught them how to be free of tobacco and how that smoking cessation. And he just cheered up and all of a sudden the cheers program. You guys, he carried the banner for us. He opened the doors for us. He made sure we connected with the right people that the money went to. Well, we used that free money to rent the ranch. Do you guys see how powerful? So her ranch is in her LLC. Now we have a nonprofit. The grant money came into it that included grant, all the things. So we rented her ranch to do the project. We made more than enough to save the ranch. We turned garbage into gold. We used big tobacco money to pay for the youth smoking cessation program. Kids created their own documentary to help other kids quit smoking. It's now going to be featured on National Geographic Channel. Uh, if you're watching the screen, look at her office. Isn't that rough, Tim, after working in a beautiful setting like that? <laughs> yeah, that's nice. And you guys, it's amazing. It's, it's, 
and I keep she's amazing a lot, I know, but I just really am in that place in my heart. She has grown up from that one little program to the entrepreneurial program to they just had a retreat there for youth for an entrepreneurial. They have cabins. Uh, they had angel investors come in and do the retreat with them. Amazing. And she says, 78000 per year for the next five years. What can we show you, Watson? It's been the most powerful business investment I've ever made. And only 10 hours of actual work with Sherry and her team, I was able to get a guaranteed $78,000 in grant money each year for the next five years to support my project. Since then, I've been working with Sherry and her team to create even more funding for my project. The money keeps on rolling in. I can't wait to see what happens next. Margaret Merrill. So you guys, what you have in front of you is the greatest opportunity with what Kim's taught you and now what I'll teach you, the match is made in heaven. Now you know peanut butter and jelly, salt and pepper, yin and yang, that's a non-profit and for-profit. So mm -hmm. if you have a for-profit, Kim, and if you don't have a for-profit, I didn't have a for-profit when I started my first non-profit. It'll work all different ways. And the, here's the bill I was telling you about, Tim, that you guys can look for in Houston. I mean, getting ready for when I come out. It's called NSP, but the bill was called the American Housing Rescue and Foreclosure Prevention Act. There's billions of dollars in that right now. So we'll see what's in Houston and see how you guys can be a part of it. So let me show you how this model works. That's for you guys um, as Tim students. So the free money comes in. So that's your grant money, whether it's from HUD, from the Community Development Block Grant. We'll be talking about all the different low-hanging funding so that we can get you money to start with and then grow it. So that free money comes in, and your nonprofit is set up as a housing counseling center. So now, Tim, your students have a nonprofit housing counseling center. We've gotten grant money in, and you're going to work with new homeowners, and the homeowners in danger of foreclosure. Okay? So that grant money, you guys, covers your salary, your assistant, your office, you're, going to, you're a corporation. You're going to set up a center. So that grant has all those line items in the budget. It's awesome. So all of your expenses are taken care of. And now people are being sent to you. So instead of do that lumpy mail or something that sticks out above the other 900 postcards or something, the banks, HUD, they're sending people to your nonprofit center. So now you've got all ah, these new homeowners and homeowners in danger of foreclosure coming into your center, and you're being paid a salary to work with them. You can hire staff to come in. Say you have a for-profit realty company. You can sell a house to the new homeowners that have come into your nonprofit. Say you have a mortgage company. You can do a new loan or a loan mod on the folks that are coming into your nonprofit. Or we have one very visible national group that has a short sum company. So they have a nonprofit where folks come in. And if we can't save them, and if the best thing to do is let them give them a second chance to do a short sum, we refer them to the for profit short sum company. Very legal, very ethical, done every day all around us with universities, with hospitals, with, but now we're showing, we're teaching you how that you can do this. It's amazing, Tim, when we did the article facts to us on the front page of the newspaper of the, the couple that have the short sub company, and now their nonprofit is, is helping people. On the front page headline says, 160 families saved remain in their homes during Christmas because of this nonprofit. That's powerful. Talk about the economics, you know? So 
here's one of uh, our students gave us says, 14000 a month to help people keep their home. So this program taught me how to get paid to help people in foreclosure. I now make 14000 a month of grant money to keep individuals and families in their home. Not only am I making a lot of money, I feel fantastic about the people I'm able to help. See how awesome that is? So those path ones, spend your money on marketing, you chase after deals with no guarantees, and don't get paid until after you close. Or you can do path two, the power of grant money way. Be marketing from the media. You're a hero in the community. There's another article with our students. They have a for-profit real estate company, and he said he couldn't have paid enough to get this kind of coverage. The newspaper, okay. it says brothers work together to help patriots. That's through their nonprofit. So now they're free media. The deals are chasing after that. Free PR, banks, HUD. And you get free money to pay your salary, expenses, staff, office, before you even buy a property. So which path would you rather take? <laughs> Come to our training and we're going to, and I'm going to breeze through this too because I'm going to skip some slides because I've been talking a lot just from my heart. I mean, I'd love to share more of this, but what I'll do, you guys, I'll share some more of the case studies. We'll go over those during our training. Um, we've done an amazing assisted li living center, again, with a real estate investor that had a for-profit, bought commercial property. We set up a non-profit and ended up doing, I went to the ribbon cutting, Tim, it was beautiful. So those are the kind of things, get your mind thinking about the vacant buildings you drive by, what we can turn them into. And I, I wanna just get that myth out of your mind when I say non-profit. What do you think of when you think of a non-profit? And when I'm at live events, folks will say, oh, you know, kind of a, social service place or a welfare office or kind of in the back dungeon somewhere. If you're looking at this, I want to show you. This is one of my yeah. friends. Look at this, Tim. Wow. It's a, it's a beautiful four-story all-glass building in Chicago. One of my colleagues, one of those the center I had, she's one of the centers. She is a nonprofit. It's called Access Living. Free money for brand new development. Forty-four thousand square foot. It's an independent living center. Twelve point nine million. Um, it opened with green construction, gold lease certified, the second highest rating, and a hundred percent of it was funded by free money. So you wow. guys think, think big, Tim. Think about what the love shacks are going to look like. <laughs> well, it's going to be fun, isn't it? Oh, you guys. Yeah. Think big. We, we're taking a, oh, it's so cool, got a vacant warehouse turning into veterans housing. I mean, think about the, the guy that Derek, uh, one of our team members, Derek is a, has a nonprofit and is partnering with another nonprofit and he serves veterans. She's a disabled vet. Tim, he did this and vacant this huge warehouse and turned it into a beautiful home. Not a house, a home. It's got cat wood, like cherry wood cabinets, and everything was donated. And he has like 10 veterans living there, helping them get back into life. It's amazing. So I, I want to open you up, you guys, to the kind of opportunities. We have another project that I'm working with, um, prisoners that have been released. You know, there's a lot of attention being paid. Think about that system, our correction system. We can continue to be doing what we're doing. And so think about the opportunity there for your nonprofit. And it, this is led by a guy who is within the prison system. And he knows you get turned loose for five bucks and three o'clock in the morning and say good luck and we wonder why recidivism rate is so high. So think about, I keep bringing this up to him, but where people are, what they've gone through, their walk in life and how they can turn that into an opportunity. So the, 
the greatest opportunity I'll wrap up in America because I want to share a image about this is free real estate. You guys, we have the leading expert in the country on our team that does charitable giving of real estate. Incredible opportunity for you guys. Just some examples, and then we'll talk about it at the training. We'll go into it. Um, spend a lot of time talking about that. A condo in Redondo Beach with 425000 free. And if that doesn't get to go, how about a 3,500-square-foot mansion? And that, that still doesn't quite do it. Now you're thinking big. How about a 53,000-square-foot office warehouse free? Wow. Now we've got that green technology company that's eco-friendly we're working on. How about a 100-acre industrial complex free? Wow. That's amazing, Tim. So just one donation can be worth hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars to a nonprofit. So from all of this, you guys, I wanted you to just get a taste of the grant money, the corporate foundation funding, the charitable giving of real estate money, the fee for services at the $1.4 trillion industry a year. The exciting news for all of us, Tim, is that there are no limits to the power grant money. And, you know, it's not just about the money, you know. It really is about giving back because that fulfills you more than anything you ever invest in. Real estate stocks, there's nothing that gives you the kind of fulfillment when you're taking a little elder out of the nursing home and moving her back home and driving her back to her home and her grandkids and kids are there and you have all the support set up. There's no better feeling than one of our nonprofits, a couple that had been proposed on and were humiliated and were city leaders. And he, she lived in the homeless shelter with her daughter and he had to live somewhere else with the son. There's a homeless shelter that wouldn't allow a boy over 12. And so they'd meet at the park every day. Those kind of things go on every day around us. And now to be able to take them and lead them into their new home. There's nothing, there's no amount of money, Tim, that can give you that kind of feeling in your heart. So we've got so much funding out there. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, our, our, our giving is up $1 trillion. Right. It donated just every three years here. But you know what? I, um, you know, I, I know somebody, she's, uh, you know, sort of, uh, we became sort of friends, but her and her husband run um, some, um, uh, what is that, charter schools here in Texas, and they recently got, they recently got $38 million of uh, grant money from, from the Gates Foundation. Oh, that's awesome. How yeah. powerful for our kids. Oh, I love hearing that. Now, yeah. yeah, that's what it's about. We're working. Oh, we're working with a um, a charter school right now too, and some funding from the National Science Foundation. I mean, there's so mm. many. Again, going back to our youth. Oh, Tim, that's so great. And think of what, how they're what they're going to be able to give to our kids, our future. You know. Right. So yeah, Tim, there are no limits, and now is the best time in history in my 30 years I've ever seen for you to tap into this free money and start helping change the world. So Jim, let me talk a little bit about the training we're going to be doing in Houston. Um, we're going to teach everyone, you're going to learn how to create your own 501 to me make money corporation, okay, and how to get tax exempt, and then how to get paid a thousand dollars plus to live your passion, even if it's part time, so that you can continue on with what you're learning from Tim, and now we'll work part-time on the nonprofit. Um, achieving financial freedom, how to get your nonprofit and for-profit to work together. The real estate riches through helping others. Through the, we have a foreclosure model we share, vacant commercial properties, 
turning that eyesore into a community success story and how to become a magnet for free real estate. And the second best source is the free money, how to generate free money on autopilot and the top 10 ways to market your nonprofit. So we're going to go through the whole three days of A to Z. And you're going to get me and my team, because I have a powerful team. I've done a, a lot of really fantastic things throughout my career and had you know, fantastic team. But this, by far, is the most powerful team I've had. So you're going to spend three days with them. And we want you to bring your family member, um, business partner for free. You know, have somebody come and help build this with you. So write down these dates, Tim. The dates we are coming with you are February 22nd to 24th. That's not very long, you guys. It's a couple weeks. And we'll be in Houston, Texas, Tim. Thank you so yeah. much. I can't <laughs> wait. Um, so we want you to take action now. And you're thinking, well, what, what does it involve? Well, let me first talk about bonuses. I'm going to give you a 30-minute startup strategy session before you attend. So go ahead and get signed up after the call, and then we'll get you started right away with a call with one of our team. What we want to do is help lead you through some of the resources, find out what your passion is, and then get you on the fast track so that when we come, you've already got some things going. Bonus two, we're going to give you our million dollar award winning grant proposal. And the reason we put priceless on that tent is because you guys, the writing of the grant is the easiest part. And they call me the queen of cut and paste and I love that, I'm proud of that. So you can be able to take a grant home with you that you can build into that. So when you look at the prize, 5,988, we then look at, well, just coming to this training would be 3,997. But tonight, for you, Tim, we looked at 997. We were so excited. But wait, you hear that on TV, but wait. I thought not even plan I said that. But wait, keep listening. Because you, as you're about to see, you don't need to invest the full amount today or perhaps ever. All we want you to do right now is make a $97 deposit, $97 to come to the training. And you can pay the rest after you've had time to put my techniques to the test. So think about this, $97 to come to a three-day training, and it's all about the honor system. You'll pay 97 to come and learn, and then when you get that first grant of 10000 or more, you send in the remaining $900. But it's all an honor system. It's up to you. And it's been really so cool, Tim, to see this working. The honor system. People are so appreciative when they get that grant. We never know until they send that money in. So mm -hmm. your card will not be, I repeat, will not be auto charged to remain balanced. The only way we'll ever collect is if you email or call us and share your excitement and the success. And so for $97, invest in your future. Put the power grant money to work for you. Learn step by step how to get paid well to live your passion and help change the world. Create financial freedom while helping others. One of my most favorite beautiful person, she sent me a text last night praying for my dad been with us for many years, so we stay connected to him just like you do with, with your, the folks that come to you. And she put, exciting news, everything in your program you taught us works. I just received a $90,000 secret over a three-year period. It gets even better. 
I was just informed from my county that there's one million available and that my program is a perfect fit. Thank That's you, good. Sherry. I love this line, Tim. Your program has changed my life. That's what it's about. So there's two paths to your dream life, you guys. The traditional way, do nothing now, continue as always. Spend a few hours a week, if you're lucky, on your passion. Retire 40 years, maybe, to follow your dreams. Or path to the power grant money way. Take action now. Achieve financial freedom while spending every day living your passion. Start changing the world today. Guys, take action now. Come and join us. Come and be with us in Houston. And all you have to do right now, you guys, so you can get the bonuses, get you on the Saturday session, go to www.grantmoneylifetraining.com. Again, all you have to do, $97, go on to the website, www.grantmoneylifetraining.com training.com or some of you um, Natty will be tonight at the phone and so call our office and Natty will get you going right away our office number is 505-217-9333 again $97 that's not what it's about that's about coming and being a part of doing something bigger than us and having right. the financial resources to live your passion and make a difference, Tim. I can't wait to be together, Tim. Yeah, me, me too. And, you know, everybody, I mean, you know, I, I recommend this so highly because <laughs> when, when, you know, when Sherry did the, um, the life training in, in Orlando, not only I went, but um, you know, I refer a bunch of my friends to go as well, and so you know, I, I mean, I enjoyed so much. I got so much out of it that I invite Sherry to come to Houston to make this available, you know, to yeah, to everyone in Houston. And even if you're not in Houston, you know, you're welcome to come and join us as well. But I mean, that's how much I believe in this. Right? That's how much I like recommend it, you know, to you know, to make sure that you take advantage of this and you'll be a part of this movement. Uh, you know, of uh, nonprofit business, you know, making you know, making money, making uh, money for you, and, and creating financial freedom for you around nonprofit, and make a difference all at the same time. I love that. Like in the real estate investing, it was great. I made a lot of money in real estate investing. You know, but for me, it's like it's like you know, there was something missing, right? Because one of my passions is to make a difference for people, and that's why I, I do a lot of teaching. And you know, and, and so I love the way Sherry like ties the the nonprofit and the and the for profit together, where we're able to both make money and make a difference at the same time. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I I just love that, you know. And so, highly highly recommend you guys to take advantage of it. It's it's ninety seven dollars in uh, investment, and you don't have to pay the remaining nine hundred until you get at least ten thousand dollars in grant. So it's a it's a no brainer deal. Um, you know, go to grantmoneylifetraining.com, grantmoneylifetraining.com, and uh, yeah, we're starting uh, pretty soon here, February twenty second, twenty third, and twenty fourth here in Houston. Awesome. Oh, Tim, I can't, I really can't wait to to be with everyone, you guys. It's, it's time for us all. I'm telling you what, Tim, your passion bringing love and, and helping people feel empowered and, and where they belong. And my new passion is, having gone through this with that, is seeing how much we need to bring in nutrition and back to the basics and the healing and so I'm going to share that with you so we're incorporating that like um, one of our new clients is she's beautiful um, she's setting up an assisted living taking vacant hotels 
and wow. we're incorporating the nutrition and so that our our elders have that built up immune system, have the life they deserve. So I'm going to be sharing a lot of that with you. So whether even in housing, Kim, with the housing counseling center, and there's so many ways we can incorporate wellness and then send them to the love shack to be a part, <laughs> be empowered. Think of the movement, truly, not just joking about it. Think of the movement we can create to bring people back and give them their lives and give people peace and joy again. Right. Yeah, totally. So, cool. Well, I'm really excited, Sherry, to, to have you come to Houston and yeah, I'm excited to you know to have everyone in Houston have the opportunity to you know to get this training from you. I mean, uh, yeah, like when you know, by the time you you leave here, Houston will never be the same anymore. That's for sure. Oh, <laughs> hey, let's give them a hint, Tim. I always tell tell them when I'm going to come in and paint the town purple. You got to get it when you come to our training. You'll get it. But let's paint the town purple. <laughs> yes. Oh, awesome. dear, Mark, that way to see you. Well, thank you so much for accommodating me through this. And I'm going to head back over and bring in the humor. I keep, just keep my dad full of humor and keep him focused on. I keep telling him, Dad, what you taught me, what goes around comes around. He sat with me for months in ICU and never showed me any pity and was just always giving me a hard time. So now it's my turn. So now I can go <laughs> over and give my hard time. <laughs> so I'm, awesome. not, I'm not letting them off the hook. So I'll give you guys an update when I see you in Houston. That's great. Well, thank you so much again, Sherry. Yeah, just for your generosity and your heart and your love. I really, really appreciate you and your family. So. Yes, I'm excited to see you. You too, Tim. I can't wait to tell your wife and the boys. I can't wait to see them, and our, my family will be there, and we're just going to have a great time, you guys. So come, bring your families, bring your business partners, and we're we're just going to sit around for three days and give you the tools and resources, and we're all going to figure out how we're going to turn this world upside down and bring us back some joy and peace and harmony. Awesome. Okay. All right. Okay, Tim. Thanks, Love you. Thanks, everybody. Okay. You have a good one. Love Thanks, you. Thanks, you guys. Bye. Okay. Bye.